Hey guys, I'm Kimberly and today I'm doing a video on three things that I did to lose 20 pounds. So if you're like where I was a few months ago and you've just got some stubborn weight that is you're having a hard time losing and you need some motivation, keep watching because these three things really helped me and I know they can help you too. So number one, is decide to make a lifestyle change over a diet. I found diets diets didn't work for me because there's always an end to the diet. Be like, oh, I can't wait till this diet is over once you meet your goal weight. And that's not what I want for me. I know that's what a lot of you don't want for yourselves either. So what I decided on my, for myself was a lifestyle change. Something that I could be happy doing the rest of my life. And um, that's what I found. So the first thing that I did for my lifestyle change was eat more salads, less carbs, which you may not wanna hear at first, um, but I, I think over time you will learn to love salads like I have because I can literally make anything into a salad. I can make tacos into a salad. I can make like, um, well, maybe not pizza, but chicken salad. I made chicken salad the other day, like that you would put on a pita bread, which isn't terrible for you. But anyways, I put that on a salad. Um, I do like Chinese food, like, well, not Chinese food, but like I get Asian salads, salmon salads, like so many different salads, get creative and turn it on a put it on a bed of greens and ta-da you've omitted a bunch of carbs from your meal and you've added in your greens and that will help you um reach your goals for sure um and I was eating too much fake food I am the type of person I have much more of a salty tooth than a sweet tooth so if you give me a bag of chips I have an extremely hard time not eating the whole bag um so what I found for myself is I know myself and I can't say oh just you'll never eat chips again because I know that's not real because I will and I'll I'll break whatever diet I put myself on for that so instead what I did is Walmart has or any your food store I'm sure has um, 100 calorie packets so you can portion out so much better so once I started portioning my foods let myself have the ch chips which I mean is like veggie straws and those uh, I really like those pop chips or just whatever you like. It's, it's like, I'm like, oh, it's only 100 calories and I can still get my fix. So, um, so eat much less processed foods. And, um, and when it comes to like eating a salad, the cool thing about a salad is you can eat a lot of food if you turn it into a salad. My father-in-law has caught me multiple times eating a salad and he saw my portion and he's like, are you gonna eat all that? And I'm like, uh, yeah because you can eat so much more food if you turn it into a salad and get really full. So anyways, that was tip number one. Tip number two is get off the couch. Um, that was a big problem for me. I loved TV way too much. I would find myself, like I would wake up and like sit on the couch and then anytime, any chance I got to sit on the couch and watch some TV, I would do it. So that's was a big thing for me. It was just get up, do something, move your body, and don't sit still. Um, I mean, there's times for it, but there's. I know I found myself, and I'm sure a lot of people can relate, sitting down for way too long. Um, and another thing that helped me a lot is cardio. And my goals during that season of life was weight loss. So cardio was, well, some people don't want to hear it, but it was the best thing for me. And that helped me lose weight really fast. Um, so my biggest philosophy when it comes to cardio and working out in general, and a lot of things is don't think, just do. And so for myself, since I my son's two, he still takes naps. A lot of the times when I put him down for a nap, so I'll put him down if I have to like do dishes or start a load of laundry or do like whatever chore it is that I need to do for the day I go do that but then immediately I put my shoes on I put my headphones on I go outside I don't give myself time to think like 
Sorry if you hear my chickens. I don't give myself time to say, oh, do I want to work out today? Do I not want to work out today? It's like, you, it's just you do it and you go outside, you turn your workout playlist on and then you run. Now, the other thing is I hated running. I used to hate running so much um, until I, okay, I started this app. It's called the Fit Yogi Trainer. I started it back in February, I think. And on Saturday, she said, just get outside and run. And then she would have like a couple running challenges. And she said, for running, she said, run for three songs. And I was like, okay, I can run for three songs. And so I've pretty much been doing that ever since. I know I need to step it up, but I'm still, I do not consider myself a runner. I just love the results that I have from running. And so most days I still just run for three songs and then I'm done. Um, well, I'm done for cardio. Um, but anyways, the big thing, oh, a big, big thing that helped me for cardio was my friend Tiffany. She gave me a Fitbit. And um, so her and I would have step challenges and would compete. And that really got me off the couch because it would say, oh, Tiffany's coming up behind you. And I'd be like, oh no like I have like a slightly competitive spirit so I was I had to like get off the couch and like start doing laps around the house or if it was nice out go outside and just uh run or walk or do whatever but um that competitive spirit in me and seeing doing it with a friend got me off the couch and gave me a lot of motivation so using the Fitbit or if you have an Apple watch or something just doing it with a friend helps tremendously and I definitely recommend that Number three is, you may be surprised by this one, um, and just hear me out, but it's fake it till you make it. So, for, okay, for myself, I grew up in a household where you just pretty much, like, our source of entertainment was TV. I mean, we went outside and stuff. I had a neighbor I played with all the time and stuff, but, like, I never watched my parents work out, um... I know my dad does like walk and stuff now, but as a child growing up, I never watched my parents work out or do any sort of physical activity really. I mean, like go on the tractor, do a garden, but not like structured working out. And so I just didn't think, like I just didn't think that was anyone's routine in life. I just thought like, oh, people just, if I saw a girl who was like skinny or really fit, I was just like, oh, she's so lucky. I wish I could look like her rather than now knowing she worked for it. More than likely, there are some people who are just super duper blessed, but that is a very small percentage of people. If you see someone who has a fit body, they worked for it, they have discipline and everything. And um, it honestly, for me especially, I had to be taught how to do it. So. Um, now that I'm adult and now that we live in the world of YouTube where you can just get knowledge at your fingertips, I'm the type of person I love to watch vlogs. I love watching people's routines, morning routine, night routine, workout routine, just whatever. Like, I don't know why. I just really, really like it. And so I follow a select few people that I really enjoy watching and are really inspirational to me and seeing their healthy habits and life really rubbed off on me and I'm like okay well they're working out like five times a day and it's just part of their normal routine and just you know being around people who have like similar aspirations makes holds you accountable you know and um not only YouTube I surrounded myself with friends who have similar goals and lifestyle uh choices and everything and so we hold each other accountable too um, so anyways, that's, that's, um, what am I trying to say? I feel like I'm not the only one who probably grew up in a household like that and is having to like learn, you know, from square one. Cause we, I didn't know like what it looked like to live a healthy lifestyle, um, before. So anyways, 
So make working out a habit. That's the best thing that I did was download the app. I downloaded um, something, it was called Fit Yogi Trainer, and it got me working out six days a week. And I did it with a friend um, through Marco Polo, not in person. So your friend doesn't even have to like live next to you and do it together every day. Like physically, you can do it through technology now. So that is really, really cool. And we would hold each other accountable. And that helps me tremendously because if I knew that she worked out, we were going to talk about it on Marco Polo later. And so I had to work out or it's like, so she didn't know I was slacking. And so she held me accountable like tremendously. Um, and so like a lot of times if I would go out to eat and still, um, well, still, I don't do this as much anymore. It's more of a habit now, but I would have to like retrain my brain. Would they eat this or that? Would they do this or that? This goes back to the fake it till you make it. Like I would like be inspired by these people who live healthy lifestyles and say, oh, would they choose this? Would they do this during this time of the day? What would they be doing? And it's just for like encouragement to help me retrain my brain on healthy living practices that I didn't grow up with. Um, so in this case, comparison is good. Um, so anyways, I hope that y'all got inspired by some of them, maybe took something from this video. And um, if you did, let me know. And if you have any more questions, let me know as well. And hopefully I can make another video to maybe go more in depth into some of the things that I did to lose 20 pounds. So good luck rooting for you.